Hey guys, welcome back to part two of what's this called? Central Pacific? Yeah. Yep, we just built this thing, it's already making money. Alright, we should connect to Reno sometime soon. So let's pause and let's start running track. We know we want to go up this incline, up this valley. So let's see if we can afford it. We might not be able to even afford it right now. Oops, it's on double. Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Very steep over here, if you haven't noticed. Oh yeah, we'd probably be able to afford it. Just barely have enough money to get up here. It's expensive as all hell, man. This terrain is not forgiving. There we go. Alright, we are in Reno, people. Good God. Look at that horrible track. Whee! But it'll work. See, which one of these is a better climber? The American is a better climber. Alright. There we go. Now, we need to put in some... It has maintenance. We need to put in some water. It's going to need a lot of water. It's not so much the water it'll run out of. It, what this thing will run out of is sand. Oh, goodness. Look at that profit. 300k profit to whole corn. <laughs> Up to Reno. They're like, oh, Johnny. We haven't had corn in Reno in 40 years. Oh, we didn't haul enough produce. We're running out of time. We got 11 years left. Not much time. God, look at this landscape, man. Consolidation, awesome. Yay, 280k. <laughs> it's gonna haul nothing back, Sacramento. Livestock and grain is nothing that they want. Alright, so now we have our profit coming in. We need to connect to Salt Lake. And this is probably going to be another... So that was about 1.5 million buckaroos to get up there. It's probably going to be another 3.5 to get to Salt Lake, something like that. 
goodness. We should just take out bonds. I'm too impatient right now, because we have to get those troops to start spawning in San Francisco. So the way I usually do it is I just go straight across and build a ton of cheap bridges. Let's go up to this ridge over here. Let's see if we can get across somehow. Okay, we can almost get there. Come on, more money. God, these hills. Look at these hills. Ugh, it's horrible. At least we got our bonus. Ten years left, people. Oh. Need to upgrade everything to, uh... Not that one, not that one. Consolidations. How are we doing on the track? We have 850 miles of track. We're good on track. Let's just connect it up. Get it over with. And this will allow troops to start spawning. Central Pacific Railroad and the Union Pacific finished the Transcontinental Railroad. Yes, so they drove the Golden Spit, the Golden Spike, somewhere over here. Hooray! So technically, we finished with the bronze already, and our book value is almost 10 million. So we have the silver as well. Now we just need the gold. The gold will re require us to connect up San Francisco. So let's see if we can run some track over there. Ugh, oh, this is horrible. Maybe just run a bridge? Let me know the loan. No, I kind of need to use this track. This terrain is not at all like the actual terrain. Trust me, I live... I live right fucking here. I know what this terrain looks like. It doesn't look like this, okay? There's a lot of flat spots, especially around the... the Bay. Goodness. There, that'll do. It's ugly, but it'll do. There. Okay, good. San Francisco, the biggest goddamn station we can afford. Now what we're going to do is build a consolidation to go from San Francisco to Salt Lake City, and the only thing it's going to haul is troops. We're going to set it as a minimum of two, and uh, on the way back from Salt Lake, you can do any cargo you want, well, up to eight, I don't care. I thought I did... Oh, I don't want to do apply to all. Fuck me. San Francisco, just troops. Minimum of two. There we go. Just troops. And consolidation. Yes. Now, it already has troops spawning. Good, good. The next thing here, this is the first time we're going to use this, is the copy button. This button creates an exact copy of this route, so it'll make another train starting in San Francisco with the same requirements. Let's do it. Same shit. Another one. I'm going to do another one. There we go. So we have three trains here. Waiting for troops. Well, one already has some troops. Go, little train. Go. So we need to build some water towers along the way. Maybe right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. And right there. We also need to put a couple maintenance facilities along the way. So why not? 
Let's put one over here near Salt Lake. Maybe right there. Uh, maybe another one like right here. And, uh, by Reno might be a good idea. There. All right, should be good. So let's watch this train head over to Salt Lake City. Very inhospitable train. Hills. There we go. So we just hauled two troops. And look at this, they're hauling back four hundred and sixty seven K of cargo. Don't worry, that value will go down rapidly. So, see, we only we only had one more thing of troops spawn in San Francisco. They take forever to spawn. That really sucks. Damn, we're making good money now. Look at that terrain, it's horrible. Consolidations go pretty quick, though. Oh, except when they break down. Come on, man. It's not cool. We can't really do much if, uh, if those troops aren't spawning. There's nothing we can do about it. Because those troops have to fucking spawn for us to complete this, this, this mission won't work without those troops. What is it? So troops hold produce troops four. Okay. Pay some of these crappy ass loans. Whoa, holy shit, hauling lumber to Reno. 580k profit. Wow.
Wow, San Jose has already grown to a three-star town, and Sacramento's up to yeah. Of course, Sacramento's up to four stars. We've been we've been building their industry. Troops hold five, so we've got a ways to go. We've been building Sacramento's industry with these uh, logging camps. Oh God, we're losing money already. Why? For some reason, we're losing... Oh, you know, someone started a competing place down here. Why are these losing money, though? I am not sure. But these are still making money, right? Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. I don't care if I'm losing money. We're almost done with this campaign. We just need to finish hauling these goddamn troops. Oh, here they come. Salt Lake City. Three hundred and sixty-two K. Nice. Ah, this one set a speed record. Cool. Oh, there we go. Very cool. So it didn't take as long as I thought it would. I thought we'd be really close to the end at, at uh, 1875, but we actually made it pretty early. Cool. I think we did fairly well. I mean, this, this really was the key to our success here was capitalizing on the the lumber mills we bought all the logging camps in the area and uh, we built two lumber mills which were insanely profitable for a few years and we built the we purchased the distillery when we first started our our game and that really helped out anyway uh see you guys back at the scenario choice window that route lickety split <laughs> I might start to thinking you've done this before. <laughs> Mole hills out of mountains is what you made them Rockies. <laughs> well, they are more like mole hills. You want the real Rockies, you have to head over to Colorado. Anyway, we're so done with Central Pacific. Uh, join us next time where we do the campaign called S Texas Tea. Seems you want to try this challenge. Oh, shut yeah, up. Yeah. Go ahead and press that display. Let's get started. Texas T is dealing with the oil discovery in Texas. So you're going to be hauling a lot of oil back and forth and trying to find uses for it. When it first spawns on the map, no one's got a fucking use for it because there's no industries nearby that demand it. Well, but. maybe you might be nervous with me standing around. Maybe I'll go have me a little shut-eye over there. You have a good look around. Yeah, anyway... Uh, there's no industries to, to use oil at the beginning, so it takes a while for you to find out what to do with it. And there are competing uh, companies in that one. This one was this one was really easy, I must say. Central Pacific, it can be hard if you don't know how to get all the track organized. You can actually run out of track if you expand too rapidly. Um, I think we did okay on it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed our time together today. Join us next time where we tackle Texas T.